like to learn how to cook in the kitchen. I like to learn how to cook in the kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, your host, welcome to the In the Kitchen Show. You've seen him at the Comedy Store in Hollywood, at the Improv, at Hyenas Comedy Club. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your host, the No Shirt Comedian. Hey, what's going on, Josh? How are you guys doing today? Yes. In the kitchen. Yes. All right. Welcome to the In the Kitchen Show. I am your host. I am the No Shirt Comedian, man. I've been so excited all week to get to get getting with you guys, man. You guys watched the Dallas Cowboy game? Oh my God! Have I got some news for you guys? Uh, today we're cooking. The dish is going to be uh, turkey, shrimp and pineapple spaghetti. Trust me, I came up with this stuff myself. I can't wait to taste it, man. Y'all, you guys got me so excited. Thanks for tuning in. If you watched the first episode, well, you know what my show is all about. And it's just going to get better from there, man. So check it out. Uh, today we're cooking. Uh, we, 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 we need some, some red peppers. Um, uh, my motivation is for uh, teaching young men how to cook. So they don't have to worry about their mother cooking or their girlfriend or family member cooking or they're in the dorm and they got to go out and buy this fast food. I'm teaching you some little tricks that you could do on your own, man. Just go buy a little bit of ingredients and say, hey, the no shirt comedian in the kitchen showed me how to cook. So anyway, we're getting this started now. Um, we added some turkey. Uh-huh. I, I added some turkey in here. Uh-huh. We got some, some shrimp in here. Uh-huh. And we got some pineapple in here. Uh-huh, can you see that? Uh-huh, well, you'll be able to see a little bit. Uh-huh, but, man, then you got to have the, uh, the, the, the spaghetti. Okay, we got the spaghetti. Uh, you like my war room? See, you can spice it up. Look sexy while you're cooking. Sing to yourself and make it feel good while you because you're getting ready to eat something that look feel good. So, anyway, um, uh, you got the pineapples, you know, you know sometimes when you're in the kitchen, like, like I said, you might want to eat something. Mm. While you're cooking, keep the motor wet. Yeah, I do that So, anyway, getting back to the Cowboys, you got two running backs that can run over 100 yards, and you know your quarterback is hurt. He's been on the news, and everybody knows that he hurt. Why in the hell you work him more and work them less? That's a damn coaching decision. And the owner decision that I think that is out of this damn world. You guys are lost your mind. I mean, it was so bad, it was like Little Richard in a Pee Wee Herman headlock. Yeah, that's how bad. It had, had me jumping for joy. It had me jumping, 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 and wishing and wishing and hoping. That's the Cowboys win. That's almost like a midget wishing on a six foot girlfriend. Come on now, y'all gotta stop doing it. Anyway, um, so we're gonna get back to this cooking. Ooh, I'm so fit. You got him throwing all over the place, and Zeke is over there, and everything, talking about, feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. And they, they don't have a clue. They should know what that means by now. Feed me. And if, and if Zeke got hurt, and, and he can't run a little bit, put Pond in there. He ran out 100 yards, too. I'm not understanding this, man. All the coaches need to be fired. Jerry, you need to be upset. You started this mess. Anyway, trying to hold on to Robin or Boy Wonder or whatever. Anyway, so, okay, so you got this, that, that, all that's going. I'm so upset. So you need you some spaghetti sauce. Fellas, you put your meat in there and you let it get brown. And you let it get brown. Then you put you some seasoning. Mm -hmm. You get you some seasoning. And you put you some seasoning in there. And put that in there, okay? When you do that, you cut your onions up, your colorful onions. Yes. You want to cut your onions up like that. Uh-huh. Then you put your shrimp in there. You cut your shrimp up, and then you put the shrimp in there. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay? So what you do, and then you get you some vegetable oil or something like that, then you put that in the pot first. Then you put your turkey meat in there and start letting your turkey meat get real brown. Once it starts getting real brown, then you start adding the seasons and everything. Then you put your shrimp in there. I already pre-boiled the shrimp. So they already kind of cooked. So you put your shrimp in there. Okay. Then you put your pineapple in there. Then you put some more seasoning in there. 
And then you just start mixing it all around. Once that starts getting to cooking, okay, you got that cooking over here. Mm -hmm. This is looking good, too. Wow. This is something that you guys can do. With. No problem, man. What the hell we're going to, I ain't going to mention no fast foods, but, you know, you can do this on your own, man. Cook your own little dish. You guys can sit down and laugh and play some dominoes or something. Or talk about some women or whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, then you get this. Let me tell you. My shoulders hurt, and so I'm trying to do this, man. I'm trying to stay motivated. I don't care how much it hurts, and I got to go get surgery and all that kind of stuff. But you can still pursue your dreams no matter what. Sometimes God can take away one thing, but then, okay, like a guy that's blind. Okay, then he got his other senses. A guy with one arm. Okay, now he can do something else. Or a guy with no legs. He's good with his hand. So, you know, he took away something right here, So, but I can still cook. Okay, you feel me? Okay, so I'm going to... I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. You see how? Boy, it's something wrong when you're a weak man. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, if you're weak, you ain't gonna be able to open a can. So uh, you might want to try your roommate or somebody like that. Okay, so or, or you might want to get a woman or your girlfriend to open up a can for you since you can't cook. Okay, anyway, so. And then you see this? You pour this. Oh, see all that red stuff? Huh. First time I felt that was pressed. Okay, and so and then you start mixing it around. Oh my God, this is turning into this. So over here, I got the pot boiling over here uh, with with the spaghetti. You don't believe me? See? Okay. Yeah. So this is over here in the pot. So you let the spaghetti be boiling over there, getting ready while you're cooking the sauce. Yeah. What we're doing right now, we're cooking sauce. Oh, I forgot one thing. I left out one important thing. But it's never too late. And let me tell you this. If you saw my first episode, you already know. So every time you tune into one of my episodes, the next one is going to be the same thing. You already know what you do. So, fellas, when you get in the kitchen and you start cooking, wash your hands. Uh-huh. That's right. Wash your hands, you one-eyed monsters. <clears throat> I'm going in the bathrooms, restrooms in the public, man, and dudes sitting on the toilet and and you was in the bathroom, and they coming out quicker than I can Google nasty. Now, that's right. N-A-S-T. Before I can push the Y, they got Wash your hands, you nasty, you nasty one-eyed monsters. Yeah, I'll shoot it. I'll shoot it. I'll shoot it. Anyway, so uh, get back to the cooking stuff. Oh, man, this is coming out really Wow. So like I said, man, you know, uh, these cowboys, man, uh, I hate to talk about it in my show because... I don't want to talk about nothing sour, but um, maybe I'll add a little bit of sour because these cowboys, something else, man. And then you got a quarterback that's already hurt, right? So um, if you're a wide receiver, check this out, bro. You might not, you might not believe this. If you're a if, if you're a wide receiver and you know your quarterback is hurt. At least you could do. The least you could do is catch the damn ball. Catch the damn ball. Come back. Catch the damn ball. Give him a target. Catch the damn ball. That's your job. Catch the damn ball. All you got to do is catch the damn ball. I can't understand the kicker. All he got to do, all game, eating popcorn, pizza, flirting with the fans, soda, all this kind of stuff. All this Negro got to do, or white boy, whoever, all he got to do is kick the damn ball one damn time. Kick the damn ball. They, they, go, they go through all that preparation. The food ain't burning. Go through all that preparation, and all he got to do is kick the damn ball. Ain't that a kick one time? You don't have to do, 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 kick ten times. Just, just, if you're happy and you know it, you don't have to do All you got to do is just kick the damn ball one time. And you can't do that. Anyway, getting back to the spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti is looking good. Yes, it is. So uh, I'm not going to get off these cowboys because the owner, I, I, you know... I, Maybe you guys didn't hear what I heard, but I heard him a week or two ago. He was talking about, I'm the owner, the GM, and all that. Oh, he everything. So since you all that, 
then maybe this is your fault for all this crap that's going down. He said nobody gets hired, nobody gets fired. Anything that comes through the Dallas Cowboys got to come through me. Okay, so you got a lame-ass coaching staff that can't call plays right. So I guess that's your fault, Jerry. I ain't ashamed to say it, man. I'm going to tell you, this. Uh, uh, that's one thing about my show. I'm going to keep it real. This is my show. The In the Kitchen show. Jerry, it's your fault. Since you hired the coaching staff, since you hired the, the players, since everything is going on, then you take the ball. You take the ball. Get out on the public and get on the news. You're always talking. You always want to be there, but you didn't want to be there this time. Get out there and go out there and tell the fans that it's your damn fault and you're going to make some changes. Bring back a Jimmy Johnson or somebody like that that can coach the damn team that's going to get mad. I want a coach, hire a coach that when he show up for the interview, this Negro got a belt on with a hammer in his damn pocket. He coming to do some work. He coming to do some nailing. You hear me? I will walk in there ready to nail some. Woo! Don't let me get me started. Hire me for 100000 The No Shirt Comedian. Hire me. Anyway. Okay. So, oh my God, the spaghetti is coming along very well. Very well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you want to always monitor your spaghetti because you want to make sure that it doesn't burn. Okay. So what I usually do is um, you turn some cold water on. Yeah. Turn some cold water on. Then you, you get the spaghetti. You put it in, a, in the sink. And then the reason why you're doing this, brother, is you let the starch and everything run off of the spaghetti, right? So you put it in the water and everything. And then what you want to do is you want to drain it. You want to drain it. So you drain it and let the water... Yeah, like that. You don't just want to just put it in the plate and start eating it. Just let it drain. Yeah, it's going to be all right. Yeah. Ooh, I got a weak left side, left arm, but that's okay. Okay. So, now, we got that, right? So, we got the spaghetti, right? Okay. So, now what you do is you get the spaghetti and you put the spaghetti on the plate. Huh? Huh? How do you want to get it? You know what? I'm going to tell you something. Since this is my show, don't do what I do. Reach in here and grab yourself a hand full of damn spaghetti. Because I don't have all day to be waiting for the spaghetti to be falling all over the damn plate. So you see that? You see that? Okay. So now, you got the spaghetti. Okay. So now, what you do, you go over here. You cut the fire off on the meat. You cut the fire off on the spaghetti. You always want to cut the fire off on stuff because you don't want to... Uh, be burning that nut. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Matter of fact, see, I'll show up to Jerry Jones and say, yeah, I'm the coach. I'm the coach. As soon as I, I come in there, I'm coming in and do some nailing and scooping up. I'm coming. In. You drop a pass. Scoop your ass is on the bitch. You hear me? Okay. So now, okay. So now, um, okay. So now you get this uh, spatula. You might not have one this big. Because uh, this is the end of the kitchen show, and you ain't gonna have the same stuff that we have. Okay, so now, and then you're gonna get your fork. Mm hmm. Gonna get your fork, and uh, you see that? Can you see that? Man, this is some turkey, shrimp, and pineapple spaghetti. Mmm. 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 You did this, dog. You did this. You didn't need no family member. You didn't need no woman. You didn't need none of that. You didn't have to go to those fast food places. You spent some time and you cooked you some turkey, pineapple, and shrimp spaghetti. This is good. This is good. That's why I love about myself because I could teach these young cats how to cook. For themselves and it's healthier you know what you know i'm a diabetic so i try to promote healthy eating now you know sometimes shit gotta happen to you so now that i'm a diabetic I'm trying to eat healthier and i say you know what i'm gonna start teaching boys how to to eat now i concentrate on the young boys because in this world today we're missing strong leaders 
So if we're ever going to have strong leaders again, Malcolm, Mandela, Martin, we're going to have to start training them now when they're young. So what I want to do is set a foundation and so give us our, our, our young boys a chance to learn how to become leaders. So a leader got to learn how to cook too. No woman don't want to always do the cooking because you can't do it. She, she tired too. She ain't going to be able to give you what you want because she tired. You see what I'm saying? You better cook. <laughs> anyway, so, so it, it's very crucial to, to, to learn how to cook and, um, in this uh, kitchen. The kitchen could be your best friend. A lot of people think that if a man cooks, that must mean that he's gay. Let me tell you, I love me some. But anyway, um, no, I mean, if you look all over the world, the Hilton, all these big hotels all around the world, the number one chef, the main chef, I would probably say 78 out of 80 times is a man. That's right, men can cook just as well as women, if not better. You got some women that can't cook nothing. So, it's not that. So, uh, get rid of that myth. You know, just because you're a man, don't mean you can't cook. This is the other thing I'm going to talk about on my show because this is my show in the kitchen show. Just because a man cooks, check this out. Just because a man cooks don't mean that he's gay. Let me go over here. Mm. Mm. Let y'all think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Mm. I'm getting fired up. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Just because a man cooks or likes cooking does not mean that he's gay. I took cooking in high school. And I had some buddies my, oh man, which one don't you, man? You gay? You cooking the other? Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Then when they start smelling that food outside of the window of this classroom, chicken and all this kind of stuff is smelling good. Hey, dog, sneak me some food, man. I'm like, oh, no, man. I ain't, like, mm, mm. I ain't teaching that. Remember, I'm supposed to be gay. Why you want me to cook for you? You eat some my gay food. Mm, mm. So after a while, they started learning how to cook. I got a buddy. Man, this man can cook. Mm. Great. Greg can cook. For a man, he can cook. Greg cooks so damn good as a man, I thought he was gay. I was like, hey, dog, can we have a talk? But, but you know, we young. You don't know. You don't know. So, but, no, I don't mean that. There you go. This means that, uh, mm-hmm. So, stop thinking just because a man cooks, he's gay. Okay? I want to nail that in here. And this is the other thing I want to do on my show. If a person chooses to be gay, I don't care if it's a man or a woman, that's their right. I don't know if they're wrong for doing what they're doing. Well, according to the Bible, okay, but let's say, let's say, but according to the Bible, fornication is wrong. Adultery is wrong. So we all wrong. If we wrong, so, but just because a person fornicates, just because a person commits adultery, People don't attack them for that, or what they're doing in the bedroom or, in the, or behind the scenes. People don't attack them for it. So why are you attacking gay people for choosing what they want to do? Okay, so let them do what they want to do. At the end of the goddamn day, they still a human being. And you got to treat them like that. You got some people treat animals and dogs better than people. We got to get out of that treating Negroes and, and gays, uh, 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 dogs and animals and cats better than them. We're still human. I'm not saying I'm gay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you know me, I don't like to some. But anyway, that's what gay is good. But you got to know. You got to know because this, my show is almost over. I want you guys to tune in to the third episode yeah. of the In the Kitchen show. Stay tuned for that. And, and this, this show right here, keep on spreading and sharing it all over the world because this is going to be something that's very motivational, interesting for everybody, for me, for you, for all that. I love my women audience. You guys keep on supporting me and doing what I'm doing as my show starts to grow. You know, I figured that I don't just have to get on stage and do comedy. No, 
that's not the only, only time I got, I got to uh, 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 do comedy. I could do comedy in the kitchen. I'm bringing cooking, comedy, and current events. You got that right? Uh-huh. So anyway, um, like I said, the Cowboys got to be so... The team and the coaching staff is so bad right now, it's worse than Little Richard in a Pee Wee Herman headlock. Never thought I'd find someone to blow my mind, girl. Like you. Yeah. If I, I that's very white. I like to close my show with someone like you. Yeah. You guys have a nice Christmas. Celebrate if you're not with your family. You got God, and you can get on Facebook. You can show some love. And the key, as long as you're living. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Thank you for tuning in to the In the Kitchen show. You guys leave me some comments and feedbacks and share this. And um, I'll see you on my next episode. The third episode of the In the Kitchen show. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, that spaghetti tastes good. Turkey, shrimp, and pineapple spaghetti. We're out.